lunchtime today, I discovered a new little white flower on my street. According to my iPhone, the spring drabber, which is along here, is a tiny little white flower. Hmm, I've never really noticed that before. Just come in, and look. What a tiny, lovely little flower that is, eh? Spring drabber. That was cool. There's spring drabber. What a delightful, diminutive little white flower that is. I'm trusting that my iPhone's got it right. I haven't yet checked in my wildflower book. There's spring drabber. Now, while the crocuses are rather bountiful in late January, February, some of the other wildflowers are starting to pop their heads out. So let's have a look. Now, the tremendous speed wells, the first one on the he came out yesterday. Well, there's lots more tremendous speed well, which is not in flower yet, but that's their leaves. So the Alconet's now in flower, so when the Osmia canoe to the water basin bee wakes up, they'll be feeding on that, as well as the scented, as well as the sweet violets. And the lesser celadine has been actually, the first one came into flower about two weeks ago. They're all popping their little yellow heads out. So a short little reel to celebrate the comfrey coming out. It came out yesterday and it's now joined the sweet violets, the celandines and the alkanet on, uh, on the free space outside of my house which I call my car. And soon there'll be loads of female and male hairy footed flower bees visiting the country, and maybe even an orchard mason bee. And Bob's your uncle, two hours later, my first two hairy footed flower bees. So, Harbingers of Autumn, number two, Cyclamen. So you can see the sycamore behind me there, and uh, this is the, the bit of green space opposite my house. And for the 38 years I've lived here, every August the sycamore come out, and they stay in flower till about December. And uh, this year they came out a little bit earlier, um, actually in late July. And I think that's probably something to do with the drought last year and the rains we had in July, you know, June and July. And what's great is at this time of year, they're really good at attracting late pollinators. Here's some footage of some carder bees that I filmed the other day in the middle of the heat wave. More harbingers of autumn to come before the end of September.